Hi everybody, my name's Tony and I'm here with the Everyday Counts program. And we have an hour together for yoga. So today, make sure you have everything you need. We're gonna be focusing on our spine, on flexibility, stabilization, and strength. We're not gonna be coming to standing today. So gathering everything you need, and especially things that you may need for the end for relaxation, extra layers, eye pillows, and um, water that you may need throughout. And then coming to a comfortable seat for you. No right and wrong here. Everything's um, going to feel different for each and every one of us. So if you want to start in a chair, go and start in a chair. Start on the floor, maybe sit up on something. Accommodate for what it is that your body needs today. Always knowing that however you're seated, you can shift and move and change your mind at any time. But we're gonna settle into that support, whatever it is. Noticing that support underneath you, even pushing down into that support, just to awaken the awareness in your body of where you are supported. It's a way of grounding ourselves. We spent so much time up in our heads. This is an opportunity for us to deepen into our experience in our body, which is all yoga is about. It's about building awareness to this moment. And there's lots of different ways to do that through embodying this moment, through noticing this moment through the breath, noticing sensations in the body, all kinds of exciting things. So in your own way, starting to dip into this moment, into your body as it's resting here. You can go ahead, soften your gaze, lower your gaze or close your eyes if you're comfortable or not. And then when you're ready, just notice how you're feeling today. Notice everything about this moment, what's on your mind, any emotions that are present, any memories you're mulling over, any things about the future you're anticipating. Let it all be there in your awareness. And notice how easily the mind jumps from one thing to another That is the nature of mind. You can drop your awareness down into your heart space or another place inside you that feels like center. And you can also choose a place, a place that it feels like a deeper you, a more connected part of you or maybe it's not there, no big deal. Or maybe you just choose a place or maybe it arises in your awareness clearly and notice how that feels. You may notice that that place that you've chosen or that central place may feel very different to when you checked in with yourself just a moment ago with how you're feeling. And then we start to notice our bodies. Allow your awareness to rest at the crown of your head. And then slowly allow that awareness to descend slowly through your body bit by bit, allowing your awareness to scoot from one place to another, noticing things, noticing sensations, noticing stories that arise. Noticing discomfort, tightness. Noticing comfort, ease, strength. All the way down to the support underneath you. And you don't have to come to any conclusion. You don't have to unpack anything. We're just simply being aware of your body. And 
And then start to notice the central channel of your body as if there was a plumb line from the crown of your head all the way down through your torso, down into the support underneath you, whatever that may be. The central line of your body. Very much in alignment with our spine. And we've all got different things going on in our spine. There, it's we're not interested in perfect. We're just interesting in aligning our awareness of the central part of us with the area in and around our spine. Imagine with that plumb line, you have a line, a thread, or a cord going all the way down into the earth. get that connection downwards. And then we also, through that lead, uh, that um, light thread or cord, reaches up through the crown of the head, right in towards the sky. And pick a place along there through your body where you feel like your breath could start. And for some of us, it's right up in the heart. For some of us, it's further down. So the plexus belly may even be in your perineum and the pelvic floor. It may even be further down into the ground, that imaginary plumb line. And on the inhale, like a traditional thermometer, drift your breath up that line and exhale it back down. Inhaling up and exhaling down like a light a little light on that cord. Imagine it, sense it, feel it, or if there's something else that allows you to connect to that inner central channel, then go ahead, working with the breath up and down, like that traditional thermometer rising and falling. You might even notice how the breath, as you imagine, sense, or feel it, could even come out through the crown of your head, up further towards the sky, and exhale, it's sliding just as steadily down into the earth, or it may just be a small movement within, from your solar plexus to your heart, for example. There's no right and wrong here. There's nothing we're trying to feel. We're just getting that connection to the breath with that central channel. And we're all going to experience it completely differently. So allow yourself to be open to what arises for you. Setting aside thoughts of how it should be, that it should be visual, that it may be just an intuitive knowing. It may come in a symbol for you. It may come in a color. Inhaling and exhaling. And notice if you can deepen and lengthen that breath and notice how that changes or lengthens or brightens that traditional thermometer moving up and down. We're going to use that and we'll bring the hands in towards the heart center. Soft fists, fingertips can be together, or palms, doesn't really matter. Bring the fingers or the hands down to a place that feels comfortable for you in your body. It doesn't have to be where the breath starts. And on the inhale, we're going to drift those fingers up. And on the exhale, we're going to draw it down. Mm -hmm. Inhaling and exhaling. Again, there's no way this needs to particularly be. Allow it to be moving with your breath up and down that central channel. And if your fingers stop at your heart, because that's where it feels that your breath is stopping or that traditional thermometer in your imagination is stopping, then stay there. But we're mimicking that rising and falling of the breath, of that energy coming in and out with your arms. 
And if that goes up really high, then fantastic. The um, you don't have to straighten or strengthen through the arms. The softer the bend in the elbow, the easier it is for the shoulders. So you just decide. We've got another three breaths to go. See if you can soften your gaze, close your eyes, and feel into the breath coming in and out. Or imagine it. Oh, one more, unless you want to rest. Mm -hmm. Bringing the hands down, left hand is going to rest towards or on the floor next to you. And if you need to bring something like a block or anything you have handy to bring the earth closer to you because of the length of your bones or how far away the earth feels because you're sitting up on something, then do what it is you need to. Right palm turns out, inhaling from the elbow, exhaling down. Again, mimicking that lengthening through the breath, through the central channel of the body. Option to stay here, option to start to move from the shoulder. Option to keep that left hand in support as the arm comes up and over. Imagine the breath coming up through the crown of the head, maybe even reaching in through the fingertips as we start to allow the spine to get this side flexion. And again, imagine, sense, and feel the breath coming up all the way through the central channel of your body, maybe even up into the air um, above your head. Maybe not. You've got two more to go. Rest if you need to, whatever feels good for you. And then at the end of the next exhale, you're going to take the right fingertips down, adjust if you need something to bring the floor to you. Left palm turns up from the elbow, inhaling up, exhaling down. Staying here or moving from the shoulder. Easy joints. Option to stay here, option to take those fingertips over towards the right. And again, the inhale, imagine, sense, and feel that breath coming up to your height and settling down on that exhale, just as steady on the way down as the way up. Got another three to go. Rest if you need to, otherwise one last one. And coming all the way back down to center. Imagine, sense, and feel the breath coming up and down. And notice if maybe it settles down, maybe it's more expansive now, whatever your experience of your breath is. Again, no right and wrong here. Settle in. Be here for as long as you like, or we're going to come over onto hands and knees, making sure you have as much padding under your knees as you need to. Adjusting your foundation to suit your body. Hands spread nice and wide, at least shoulder distance apart, if not wider. Toes tucked or untucked, and the knees are more or less under the hips. And then we're drawing the belly up into the spine. We're drawing the um, back of the heart up, pressing through the hands to get that length through the spine and the gaze comes forward. Now, we're in a different position so it might not feel quite as easy, but inhaling up through the central channel and exhaling, settling it back down. So we're still imagining, sensing, and feeling that breath coming up and down through the central channel of your body as we move into cat and cow. So on an inhale, notice the belly drops, tilting the tailbone up towards the sky and lifting the gaze, widening the collarbone, shoulder blades come towards each other. That's the inhale extension of the spine. 
On the exhale, push into your foundation and draw the back of the ribs towards the sky. Chin maybe drops gently towards the chest. Inhaling and exhaling. Notice places of tightness and tension, but also notice places that feel more easeful here. Being gentle with your body, starting small. Easing into the range of motion, not needing it to be big straight away or big at all. Maybe staying within that gentle rocking feels better for you. If you want to stay in any places that feel good to take a few breaths there, go ahead again. This is your class. You get to choose. Take the opportunity to dip into your intuition and notice what feels good for you. I've got another two to go. Staying for the last exhale and coming back to a fairly neutral place. Once again, so um, allowing that breath to come so far up and down through the central channel. And then we're going to start to roll through the ribs, circling in your own way. Big barrel rolls or small rolls. You can get your shoulders, your hips, your whole body involved if you like. Again, allow this to be your intuitive moment, moving through the spine in your own way flexibility through the spine and then we're going to take that round in the opposite direction when you're ready allow it to be a controlled movement so there is stability within the flexibility of the movement allow it to be your own resting whenever you need to And then when you're ready, coming back to center and readjusting yourself. From here, we're gonna draw the knees in towards each other a little closer. And then we're gonna send out, and I'm just gonna mirror you, send out that right foot behind you. Toes to the floor. And then readjusting yourself again. So noticing if you've immediately dropped into um, an extension. Toes to the floor, you're gonna rock forward and back, patting that left knee as you need to. Inhaling and exhaling, waking up the back of that right leg. Mm -hmm. And then from here, coming back to a central place. On the inhale, we're lifting get that heel up and noticing again what's happening in your spine here. Inhaling and exhaling, so the spine is as neutral as possible and the movement is coming from the hip. Heel coming no further up than your hip to keep the spine neutral. So we're strengthening here and finding that stability Option to stay here, option to lift that heel, pushing through the heel, and then sending those right or left fingers forward, right into a tent. We've got less foundation here, so we're having to allow our body to be as stable as possible. Steady breath, and the gaze is to extend the extended arm out, reaching through, the heel all the way into the fingertips. Steady breath, three breaths here. And on that exhale, fingers and knee comes down. Any movements you need to ease tension, go ahead. And then the left leg comes out behind you. Same thing, heel to the floor, or toes to the floor and patting that right knee, inhaling and exhaling, waking up the back of the leg. 
This is a great place to be, great place to stay pulsing, or coming to a central place. And this is maybe enough. Belly's drawn in, back of the heart's lifted, gaze is neutral. Option to lift and lower through the leg. Inhaling and exhaling, noticing what's happening with the spine. Keeping the stability where you can. The breath is coming up through that central channel. Option to lift and hover any height, extending out the right fingertips. Steady breath. Option to extend up the hand, same height as the heel, and we're reaching through there, three breaths. Imagine the breath, imagine, sense, and feel that breath coming through the central channel of the body. More or less one more breath to go. And on the exhale, hand and knee come down. Any movement you need to release any tension that may have built up, go ahead. And then from there, coming down onto forearms. So elbows come down, hands can be flat or interlaced or just touching towards each other. And then we're going to notice if we can bring the knees closer towards each other but a little further back. From here, belly draws in, back of the heart lifts from that connection down to the floor. So we're really deeply connected through the elbows and forearms. And again, adjust your hands in your own place. Patting the knees as you need to. Extending out the right leg. Toes come to the floor. Now, from here, excellent place to be. Steady breath, belly's drawn in, back of the heart still lifted and the gaze is neutral. Push down deeply in through both sets of toes. And then the option is here to hover the left knee. That's the inhale, exhale, tapping it down. Having to bring a whole lot of stability and strength through the core. Option to stay there. Option to hover the left knee. Option to stay there or extend the left leg out to and here we are in a plank. You've got three breaths. Knee can come down. You can keep it lifted. Last breath here. Exhale. Left knee comes in. Right knee comes in, there's still a slight extension there. Option to take the hips back towards the heels, coming back into child's pose if you need a little bit of a rest. Supported child's pose, hands, forearms, fists, a block, or all the way down. Steady the breath, find that central channel in the body and send the breath up and down. Imagine, sense, and feel it. And then we're coming to the other side. Take as much time as you need to to recover. And then when you're ready, we're coming back to forearms and the knees slide a little bit further away from our hips. This time we're sending out the left leg. Toes to the floor and the right toes are tucked too. Great place to be drawing the shoulders over the elbows. Belly draws in, back of the heart lifts and the gaze is neutral. Central line of the body, that's where the power is. Imagine, sense or feel the breath coming up and down. Excellent place to be pushing down into all of your support if you're adding on on the inhale. Push into your toes, hover the right knee, exhaling, taking it down. Inhaling up, exhaling, hovering down. Great place to be. 
if you want to add on hovering the knee and staying if you want to add on from there right leg comes back to the left shoulders over your elbows readjust your spine to feel as comfortable and as easy as you can breath is steady three breaths here in a plank whether you're in whether you've got your feet up or one knee or both knees down it does not matter the end of the exhale right knee comes down left knee comes to join it you can walk those knees in or walk the hands back as you come into supported child's pose knees together or wide supported by the hands forearms fists block or all the way down awareness comes back to the central channel of the body steady breath in and out Mm -hmm. from here child's pose inhaling pushing into the hands which are underneath the shoulders now inhaling up exhaling down doesn't have to be very far if you want to add on we're inhaling bringing the hands back towards your hips or on your thighs that's the inhale exhale coming down and this is going to be different for each and every one of us if you want to add on through that core through that central line on the inhale we're not only coming up you're going to push down into the shins and come up any height exhaling coming down Inhaling, imagine sense and feel, the breath coming up through the central line of the channel, drawing you up. Exhaling, coming all the way down, feeling that sense of groundedness. There's a whole lot going on in the body here. So notice if you need to take a rest, do every other one. And the add-on here, is on the inhale is to draw the arms up so we're not taking the hands with us for help that's the inhale exhaling coming all the way down so you can use the hands to help you a little or a lot or you can release the arms all together so the movement is mimicking the breath lifting up and coming down. We've got another five to go. Every other one, every third one, whatever suits you. Whenever it's feeling too much, resting, being honest with yourself. Focusing on that central channel, the steady breath. Two more to go. Last one. And on that exhale, we're coming down and settling. Supported. Whatever feels good for you, you can play with your knees being a little wider or closer together. Or if there's another place you'd prefer to rest, go ahead. Three breaths up and down the central channel of the body. Steadying the breath. And when you're ready, stay here for as long as you like. Or we're coming over onto our back. And I'm going to encourage you to have a towel that you can roll up or a blanket as we come into a hot opening here. I'm gonna grab mine and I'll see you down on your back. I have my blanket and I'm gonna come all the way down. Flexibility, stability and strength 
through the spine. So adjusting yourself with the knees to the sky, feet to the floor. Feet are hip distance. And now as we're on our back, come back to imagining, sensing, or feeling that central channel. Inhaling up, exhaling down in your own pace, your own rhythm with your breath. And again, there may be a place that feels like center to you. And the breath may be coming from the same place it did or it may have changed up, it may have lengthened, it may have um, shortened. And from here, taking the hands onto the front of the hips, the hip, hip tips, or around that area, on the inhale, as if I just came and picked up a thread from your belly button, lifting up through the belly. On the exhale, as if I push my thumb down into your belly button, um, as if you could imprint your lower back into the spine. Inhaling, there's a lifting sensation. Exhaling, lowering. And it doesn't necessarily mean that your body's gonna lift off the floor, but it is a spinal flexion and extension. With your hands on your hips, you may start to notice a slight pelvic tilt. On the inhale, the tailbone comes a little closer towards the floor as the hips lift up. We get this tilt in this direction. And on an exhale, we're tilting back. Tailbone maybe picks up as if it's like tucking between your knees. And it's gonna be different for each and every one of us. It's gonna feel very different. But what I want you to focus on with that focus on that um, internal central channel is the smoothness of the movement as best as you can with your breath. And it doesn't have to be perfect, we're never interested in that, but we're trying to steady things out, inhaling and exhaling. And this is a great place to stay right here. This is very challenging to have this stability within the body with the flexibility through the pelvis. You can even use your feet as help. So on the inhale, not that the feet will move, but imagine dragging your heels back towards your seat. And on the exhale, as if you could push the toes away and you might notice or you might feel that that gives you a little more control over the pelvic tilts. Inhaling and exhaling still. Imagine, sense, and feel that central channel, that traditional thermometer breath coming up and down. Great place to stay right here. Hands can come down next to you, whatever's comfortable, palms down. Now on the next breath, on the exhale, we're pushing the belly in towards the spine, drawing it in so much that maybe as the tail tucks, the back of the pelvis lifts a little, a lot, maybe not at all. Exhaling, that's the tucking. And then on the inhale, we finish with the lifting of the belly button. Inhaling and exhaling. So maybe the back of the pelvis is starting to peel away from the floor a little. Maybe it's not at all. Again, using your breath, using that central channel, trying to smooth out the movement as best as you can, adding on. Next time we've got that exhale, that drawing in of the belly, pushing into the feet and maybe lifting the hips a little so we peel one vertebrae at a time up through the spine and that inhale, we're coming down one at a time, belly lifting. So it's not only the option is to stay with the pelvic tilt, but we're peeling the spine up and down. And we're not interested in height. What we're interested in is steadiness, flexibility. So going up as um, one vertebrae at a time, or as close as we can get to that, and the stability as we do this. And as we're doing this, we're building strength through the muscles that Hold our spine. Always focusing on that central channel. Option is to draw the elbows in towards your ribs, pushing the triceps down. You can use that as support to lift and lower through the pelvis a little more. 
it doesn't matter how high you come, it doesn't matter whether you're lifting your hips so much that you come onto the top of your shoulders or you're just resting in the pelvic tilts. There's not a right or wrong. What we want is the control, the stability, the flexibility within that stability. Inhaling and exhaling. Now, if you want less stability through the body, so you're strengthening, option to take the arms up as if you're holding a beach ball above you as big or as small as feels comfortable in your shoulders. Allow the shoulders to rest down. Same thing. Inhaling, we're lifting up through the belly, exhaling, peeling up and down through the spine in your own time. Now notice what's happening in your feet, grounding your feet, both inner and outer feet. We normally have a preference for pushing down to the inner foot or to the outer foot. So keep them as stable as you can. Keep the foundation stable. We've got a whole lot more stability through the body. Inhaling and exhaling. We've been doing this for a while, so if you need to rest, go ahead. Otherwise, next time you come up, option to stay. Inhaling and exhaling, pushing into your feet evenly, pushing into where you're connected downwards to the earth evenly, and the breath is still coming up and down through the central channel. The knees are flaring out, draw them directly over the ankles as, mu as much as you can. Steady breath. We've got another three breaths to go. Release if you need to. Again, slowly one vertebrae down. We've got one more breath to go, more or less. And then when you're ready, down we come one vertebrae at a time if you were lifted. Pelvis starts to feel neutral. Bring the hands down and come back to steadying the breath. Inhaling and exhaling. Mm -hmm. So we've been working from the pelvis upwards. So from here, I'm gonna roll to one side and come up to seated using my blanket. So make sure the blanket or the towel is firm. You're going to take it into a rectangle and this is going to be different for each of us. So I'm going to take it the width of my mat and I'm going to roll it up. So I've now got a roll. And for those of you who know where we're coming, we're bringing this underneath the shoulder blades. If that feels um, a little bit big for you, and again, this is where the firmness of it is gonna matter. Um, this is pretty soft, so um, it doesn't feel so big. So I'm gonna take this more or less where I think my shoulder blades are going to be. And if you want a bigger roll, then just, um, I'll take two towels together. If you want a smaller roll, um, then take a smaller towel. Some of you may need a pillow underneath your head, but from here, noticing where that is, knees to the sky, feet to the floor, and then we're gonna lower ourselves down so your shoulder blades are directly underneath that roll. And again, for those of you who feel like the floor is a little bit too far away from you, the pillow underneath your head is fantastic. Shoulders resting on the earth. And again, if the shoulders are not resting on the earth, then make sure the roll is a little bit smaller. So you will have to play with that here. Knees to the sky, feet to the floor. You can take the ankles wide, knees in towards each other in constructive rest. And here we are. Adjust yourself so it feels sustainable for you. Elbows to the floor and rest your hands where they feel comfortable. Soften the gaze, lower the gaze, close the eyes and notice how this feels in your body. Notice if you're shifted to one side, if something's not even, if you feel like the roll's in the wrong place for you, keep playing and adjusting it as you need to. 
option is here to take the arms long. Again, shoulders connected down to the floor. And if you have a pillow, the pillow is above the shoulders. Maybe the arms come in a cactus. And we've got this openness through the chest here. Great place to be with the knees to the sky, feet wide, knees connected. This is great for the lower back keeping it safe, keeping it comfortable. If you want to add on, extend out one leg. Notice how that feels in your body. This can feel quite intense. If that doesn't feel right, then come back to constructive rest. If you wanna play with the other side, extend out the other leg. And if this is comfy for you, then option is to take the legs out long. Again, knees to the sky, feet to the floor are going to ground you into your pelvis a little more and help with the lower back. So finding a place that feels comfortable for you where the roll underneath your shoulder blades is the um, perfect height for you to feel comfy. And we're resting. Soften the gaze, lower the gaze or close the eyes. And then imagine that central channel of the body once more. Lifting and lowering, coming from your place where the breath stops. Imagine, sense and feel it lifting up through the center line of the body and exhaling down. A lot of the time, our shoulders are drawing forward for so many of us because we live in the front plane of our body when we're eating, when we're reading, when we're talking to people, it's all in front of us. When we're looking at people on Zoom, when you're reading the newspaper, everything's in the front line of the body. We start to come forward with our shoulders, with our head. This is a counteraction to that daily practice of us moving forward in through the front plane of our body and we're opening up through the shoulders, through the heart, and also through the lungs, allowing the breath more space, allowing literally more open-heartedness. The mood and our posture are intimately connected. So a more open-hearted posture such as this can connect directly into how it is that we're feeling. Just the same as if we're slumping forward with our shoulders forward, feeling smaller, feeling like our head is coming forward, curling up into kind of like a miniature hedgehog, if you like, as we're eating or as we're um, watching a screen then that can also translate directly into our mood. Imagine, sense, and feel that energy coming up and down, that prana, that breath coming up and down that central channel of your body. If you ever need to come out earlier, then please do. Otherwise, we're here for another 20 breaths. Notice where there's tension, release, any tightness that's building up where you can. And tightness is normally the body's way of feeling it, and, um, of showing it feels unsafe, it's not trusting of the posture. So notice if you need to adjust anything, if you need to make that roll smaller underneath you or come out because the body's starting to um, contract. That central line of the body, inhaling and exhaling. And 
another 10 breaths, more or less. Your own length and cadence, there's no rush here. In and out through the nose if that's comfortable, steady. Up and down through that central channel. Another three breaths, more or less. After your last breath, or when you choose to, your legs are extended, slowly bringing the knees to the sky, feet to the floor at a comfortable distance. Taking a moment to readjust the back. And then when you're ready, bringing one arm over the side of the body, bringing the knees as we roll to one side. Take out the roll and come all the way back. Hands on your belly, your pelvis or resting next to you. And Notice how that feels, now that roll is taken out. Breathing up and down through that central channel of the body. Inhaling and exhaling, noticing the echo of the shape you were just in. From here, staying exactly as you are, or picking the hips up and shifting them over to one side. Arms in a cactus or a T, knees coming up and over to the other side, taking any props underneath you. You can even use that roll that you had in a gentle, soft, or deep twist, whatever feels good to you. A releasing tension, adjusting the pose, or so bringing the knees up towards the chest, or sending them away from you. You can take that top knee and just replace the foot on the floor if that feels like a more gentle twist to you. Again, there's no right or wrong here. You have a million different options if you play around to make something comfortable for you. Even in this twist, imagine, sense, or feel that central line. And then when you're ready, gaze comes to center, knees come to center. Pelvis comes back to center, take a moment. And then shifting the hips to the opposite side. Knees come in and up and resting over to the opposite side. Take props where you need to, allow your body to adjust and slide to a comfortable place. Take a twist that you need, so maybe drawing the knees up a little closer, further apart. You can take that top foot to the floor so you get less of a deep twist through the lower body. Gaze can turn away from the knees, whatever suits you. center, the knees come up to center, and the pelvis realigns. Drawing one or both knees in, any kind of movement or shifting that feels good to you, you just go ahead. From here, taking yourself out into relaxation, constructive rest, Shavasana, 
anything in between. If there's a more comfortable place for you to be, you go ahead and do that. And as you're getting settled, I'm coming up to guide you through relaxation. So finding a place that's comfortable for you. Taking all the time you need to settle into that place that feels the best in this moment. Taking a breath in all the way in. Exhaling out. Another few breaths just like that. Deep breaths in. And on those exhales, relax into the support underneath you. breath to settle back to its own natural rhythm. If you would like to draw your awareness all the way down to the soles of your feet and on an inhale imagine the breath drawing up from the soles of your feet all the way up to the crown of your head one sweeping inhale that soft breath and on the exhale slowly drawing all the way down to the soles of your feet in your own natural rhythm no management of the breath at all just visualizing imagining or sensing the length of your body with your breath the inhale from your feet to the crown of your head and the exhale from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. And then draw your awareness up to your ankles, leaving your feet to relax completely, drawing the breath from the ankles all the way up to the crown of your head and down to your ankles. And notice as that happens, how relaxed you can allow your feet to feel. Shifting your awareness now to your knees, from your knees drawing up to the crown of your head on the inhale, exhale down to the awareness of your knees, allowing your lower legs, ankles and feet to relax, inhaling knees to the crown of the head, exhaling down. Letting go and releasing the lower legs. And then bringing your awareness to, from your knees all the way up through to your pelvic floor. Inhaling from your pelvic floor to the crown of your head, exhaling down to your pelvic floor. This time releasing all tension through your hips and legs. And your awareness is just in your torso to the crown of your head, inhaling up, exhaling down. And staying here or taking your awareness now just below your belly button. Inhaling from there to the crown of your head, exhaling down, your whole pelvis relaxed now. from your lower belly into your solar plexus, right between the bottom front lower ribs, inhaling up from there through the crown of your head, exhaling down. So your lower back and your lower belly relax completely. Focusing your awareness from your solar plexus to the crown of your head. Staying there or draw your awareness to your heart space that's the inhale coming from your heart space to the crown of your head, exhaling down to your heart space. And from there, bringing your awareness right into your throat, 
Inhaling from your throat to the crown of your head, exhaling back down to your throat, releasing your entire torso, arms all the way down to the fingertips, everything relaxed. Your awareness from your throat to the crown of your head on the inhale, exhale, crown of your head down to your throat. Awareness now to the brow spot just between your eyebrows, third eye. From there, all the way up to the crown of your head, exhaling down to the third eye. The rest of your body, your entire face, neck and throat, shoulders, arms, torso, legs, everything relaxed. Third eye to the crown of your head, crown of your head to your third eye. And then rest in your awareness at the very crown of your head for the entire inhale and exhale breath. And maybe you notice a rising up through the crown of the head into the space above you. Exhaling down to the crown of your head, allowing your mind also to soften. Keeping it in motion or resting in stillness in just simply being. Awareness at the crown of your head or above or in another location. here for as long as you like, allowing my words to glide off and away if you choose to, staying for longer, otherwise drawing your awareness all the way from the crown of your head all the way down to your fingers and toes again so your awareness fills your body. And you become aware of being held underneath you by the support that you have and by the breath within your body. Noticing how your body responds to the breath and simply how you are in this moment. Be aware of that central channel, that plumb line from the crown of your head all the way down through the central line of your body. bringing soft movements into your body in its own way as the breath becomes a little more mindful as the movements maybe enlarge into stretching wide or long anything that feels good to you awakening your body in your own way When you're ready, coming to a place you want to finish your practice and it may be exactly as you are resting. Hands guided into a place of intuition. Take a breath in, exhale, the breath out, chin drops softly towards your chest and come back inside to that central channel. Feel it alive and awake in your whole being. And maybe take this awareness into your day, into your week ahead. Thank you for practicing with me. Namaste.